Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do July readings for all zodiac signs. And like I always say, these are general readings, you know, if they resonate with you, that's great, and if they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info is in the box below. I do readings within a 24-hour period of contact. So whether you shoot me an email or uh, give me a shout on the phone, things are set up quickly and they're done quickly. If you want to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos plus a bonus video and they're $20 a piece. And uh, my mystery healing boxes that are absolutely beautiful. Give me a shout if you're interested in uh, knowing more about them. Now I get that out of the way. This reading's going to be for Scorpio. Let's see what's shaking with you in July 2019. Wow, Scorpio. Seems to me that you you're taking back your power. And you probably don't care if anyone likes it or not. <laughs> it's yours. Wow. Scorps, let's get into this one. Bottom of the deck. We have the nine of wands. The Nine of Wands is somebody who's been in the battle for a while, but he doesn't give up. The one wand he started this battle with is what he takes down all the way to the end. Doesn't matter what the other eight wands are doing. Check rocks. Whatever he starts, he's planning on taking it all the way to the end. And yes, he's battle wounded and he's tired. But he doesn't give up, Scorps. So maybe something here has been a long time coming. And now's the time just to act upon it. Hmm. So, Scorps, let's get it. We're going to start off with the Five of Swords, but in reverse. I like it. Now, in the upright, this is, you know, conflict. One-upping somebody. Winning at all cost. Could be, uh, you know, saying some unkind kind words. Get that out. Hitting below the belt, so to speak. But in the reverse, this is, like, not even engaging. No conflict. None. And what's crossing the help or hinder, Scorps, is that you have the moon. Now, this could be your card as well as uh, Cancer, as well as Pisces. But the moon likes to hide things. Lies, secrets, deception. It's also about fear. It's about deep intuition. Consciousness, inner knowing. It's about the unknown. The moon only shows you what the moon wants to show you. So, Scorpio, very interesting that you've been in this battle for a while. You, you know, and now it's just like, you're ready for the unknown. Bring it. There's no arguing, there's no pettiness, there's no nothing. It's like releasing. It's like letting go. And inviting whatever comes what may. Because, Scorps, in your foundation you have... Whoops. Here. Sorry. You have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is about being in a, at a crossroad. You have to pick a path. Because you can't stay in the middle of the road. And that being your foundation... Here, Scorps... I think you finally came to that place where you just accept what comes your way. You're not going to fight it, you know, if that is internal. You know, maybe you've been fighting a battle for a while, Scorps. And now it's just that you're not worried about it anymore. You could be throwing your, you know, yourself into faith. And inviting the unknown. 
because you're not going to fight it anymore, scops, scops. No matter what this is, in a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships, if you've been going against the tide, I think you're just going to ride that wave. Now, what's crowning your reading, Scorpio, is the Emperor. Usually depicted as an Aries or a Taurus. But this is about, you know, structure, stability. You know, drawing a line in the sand. That's where respect is earned and given. The Emperor is usually an authoritative-like person. You know, he's earned respect. But he, you know, he builds an empire. You know, on firm foundations, on value stuff, and stuck by them. Now, it could be a stubborn energy, but it's a stabilizing energy. And it very well could be, Scorpio, about, you know, taking back control. Being in control. You know, and respected as well. I think so. But Scorpio, in your recent past, you have the Three of Swords. And this is heartbreak, you know, despair, disappointment. You know, could have been a breakup. You know, maybe you stayed in this situation, you know, for a while and you had to let it go. In a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. Or this the whole ordeal because you stayed in it for a while. Just turned out to be heartbreaking. Hello. Cut all those trees down? Yeah. Show me who's boss? <laughs> Excuse me. But it's in the past now, Scorpio. You know, it's like whatever was disappointing, whatever was heartbreaking, you know, whatever you stayed in maybe longer than you should have in a friendship, partnership, love ship. You know, it's time to heal from that and bring on the new. Because going into your future, Scorps, you have the Virgo card of the Hermit. And he's a seeker of knowledge. Now, he doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He finds out what he needs to find out on his own. That way he knows it to be true. It's about introspection. You know, sometimes it's isolation and seclusion. But the hermit likes to be alone. You know, to hear himself think and hear his thoughts. And especially, Scorpio, if, if you're recovering from something and letting it go and embarking on something new, going into the abyss. It's important, Scorpio, to uh, know what you want, know how you feel, know what you'll do and what you won't do, you know, what you'll accept and what you won't accept, you know, and overlooking a situation, not dwelling on it, but looking back on it, being, being wiser, you know, owning up to, you know, your part and whatever. And then you release it. Now, how somebody in a situation sees you, Scorps, they see you as a page of pentacles. Now, this comes from the uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo suit, or more so is just a messenger. It's a messenger to see, hear, taste, touch, prove the things that have worth and value to us. And Scorpio, if someone's looking at you, you know, that maybe you want to offer something valuable. Whether it's your knowledge, your experiences. You know, sometimes those things are, you know, worth their weight in gold. But you have something to offer, and it's valuable. Yes, Scorpio. You have to excuse the next time, neighbors. Always, <laughs> always playing the music loud. He brings the bugs with them too. Jeez. <laughs> Sorry. Now, in your environment, you have the hanged man. And the hanged man is about feeling stuck. You don't go forward, you don't go backwards. Got to hang around.
But the hanged man sees something from a different point of view, sees something from a different perspective. And when he sees something from a different perspective, that's what gets him unstuck. That's what gets him off the wheel. So Scorpio, if you have felt, you know, in a rut, trying to move on from something, do the introspection. You know, own up to your part of it, and then you can release it. And then whatever comes your way, be ready for it. Looking at it from a different point of view, Scorpio, I think, gets you over the, the hump here. Because in your hopes and fears, we have judgment. And this is about hearing the call, rising up from the ashes. A reconciliation? Could be. A second go at something? Maybe. Now, Scorpio, remember this, this energy can be coming from you or can be coming at you. You know, if you're thinking of, you know, reconciling a friendship, partnership, love ship, any one of those ships. Do the introspection. Is it something you really want? Or do you just let it go and pursue your happiness? Because Scorpio, you are a very valuable person. You have a lot to offer. And even though you might have been in something for a while, and it had to come to an end, it means you get a brand new beginning, Scorps. And this time, it's your book. You write it. You, your story. Not somebody else's. Because your outcome card is a Ten of Wands. And a Ten of Wands is about taking all your experiences, all your know-how, and moving forward with them. And a couple more steps, this person gets to release them, drop them. And then he starts something brand new. Off on that new adventure. Scorps and leaving this behind. Because it only weighs you down. Scorps, you just felt there. Get the nine of wands and the ten. It's time for you to write a new chapter. Something brand new. So be the best you can be, Scorps. And bring that best version of you. Because people are going to want to see it. They'll be looking at you. In a different point of view. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing. And I will see everyone back here real soon. Take care.